before we get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button and please subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. So pretty please, with sugar on top, clean the fucking car. So The Many Saints of Newark is a prequel to the greatest television show ever created. In my opinion. That's a lot to live up to, and in certain aspects, it was going to be impossible to do so. No matter what the filmmakers did in this movie, you're going to get compared to The Sopranos. It's kind of a losing situation. That being said, I didn't think that this film was all bad. It's perhaps uneven at times, but there are good aspects to it, and you can see certain qualities from The Sopranos start to seep in at different points. Whoa, whoa. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. First off, I just want to say, I think the trailers were very misleading for this movie. I think a lot of people are going to go into this expecting a Tony Soprano story, but it's really not that. This is very much Dickie Moltisanti's film. Of course, I'm talking about Christopher Moltisanti's father and the man who had the biggest influence on Tony when he was a kid. And you can see shades of Tony in Dickie, but he's definitely not as layered or intricate of a character. Very well, uh... We're good, though. They try to show him have some character depth when they have him trying to basically make up for the things that he does in the film, and just the fact that he wants to do right by Tony as well. But in typical Sopranos fashion, no matter how good these people might seem on the surface, they're still thieving, murderous characters. There is a racial element to this story that I wasn't quite expecting. It was touched upon in the flashbacks that you see in the series, and it's expanded upon here. As a result, the new character of Harold does get a lot of screen time, which does seem a bit unnecessary and kind of tacked on. His existence in the story takes some screen time away from people that Sopranos fans would probably be more interested in seeing. That makes sense. I think his existence and initial connection to the family through Dickie shows a different side of the Soprano family, but he's ultimately just there to be the face of this race war that's going on in the city at this time, and I just really didn't think he added much as a character. For fans of the Sopranos, there is a lot of callbacks and Easter eggs in this movie that you will probably enjoy. There are moments that are straight up reenactments of flashbacks that we saw in the series. There was even a couple of those dreamlike sequences that feel a bit out of place, but if you watch The Sopranos, you're very familiar with that. We do get to see some of our favorite characters from the series in their younger forms in this movie, and we get them in varying degrees of quality. I think the Silvio character was probably the most unusual and maybe uneven as well. No shit. At first, I thought the guy playing Silvio was doing a terrible job. It was like he was doing an impersonation of Silvio rather than actually embodying the character. And yes, there is a difference. Plus, the Silvio character is very eccentric, he's very unique, and I could see how it would be difficult to tackle a role like that and make it your own. But there is one scene towards the end of the movie where the actor feels much more authentic in the role. It's almost like he got more used to being Silvio by the end of filming. Perhaps he was just given more time with the character, and this allowed him to embody the character a little bit more. God damn right, that's the only way I work, Cap. Which again brings me back to the notion that some of these characters probably should have gotten more screen time. I felt like John Bernthal, who I love as an actor, was kind of wasted as Johnny Soprano. Vera Farminga is absolutely perfect as Livia, but again, once the movie is over, she feels like kind of an afterthought. I feel like she should have played a much bigger role in this story. And this leads me to the character of Tony. Played by Michael Gandolfini, of course, James's son, which I will always have respect for that casting move. I think that was really cool. I like it a lot. And I really think he pulled off his father's mannerisms very well. Like, I could clearly see James Gandolfini shining through in his performance at times. Of course, he's not as polished of an actor as James was. But for what it was, I thought he did a decent job. He doesn't really become a huge part of the movie until about halfway through it. And that's honestly when the movie gets a lot better, in my opinion. If for no other reason, it's because that's what I came to see. All the talk about his potential and the little scenes we get with him and his mom, and his desire to initially not be a part of this life, it really resonates and it's kind of interesting when you have the knowledge as a viewer of what he eventually becomes. You know, one thing about us wise guys, the hustle never ends. Life's been good to me. <laughs> Plus the final scene of this movie which does incorporate the Sopranos theme song. I can't help it, it got me. I did get goosebumps a little bit in that moment, call it nostalgia bait if you will. But it worked on me and I think it has a lot to do with the mystique that's around this story and this character. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. 
Couple of notes, Uncle Junior was clearly always Uncle Junior. And Chris Moltisanti narrating part of this story from Beyond the Grave felt a little bit unnecessary to me. He felt a bit too exposition-y at times, like he was just there to explain who Tony Soprano is, if you so happen to watch this movie and have never seen an episode of The Sopranos before. This is rock! I can't get jiggy with this shit! It's mainly just in the beginning and a little bit sprinkled here and there throughout the movie. Overall, I think The Many Saints of Newark was okay, but it could have been a lot better. I think a greater focus on the iconic characters and less focus on these new characters probably would have helped the film a lot. I understand wanting to do something different, but people going to see a Sopranos movie want to see the characters from The Sopranos. And I don't think a misleading trailer will do it any favors with audiences. But honestly, I still found enjoyment in it. Mostly due to the small moments that brought me back to what it felt like when I was actually watching the show. Which is miles and away better than this movie, by the way. I found it to be a flawed but enjoyable experience. So you know what that means. I'm giving The Many Saints of Newark the cat house. Saved by kitty litter. <laughs> So have you seen The Many Saints of Newark? If you have, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time right here on Real Shift. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Y'all be cool. Got on.